everyone. We're so glad you're joining us tonight. Usually on our first Wednesday of each month in our kindergarten through fifth grade class, we get to pray together about whatever the Lord lays on our heart. Well, tonight we get the opportunity to pray together with our families. We have a special Bible story plan for you tonight, so take a look. Stories of the Bible. Jesus prays. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey gosh. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate, and Jesus and his disciples were having the Passover meal together. Jesus told them many things of what was to come and the trials they would face. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed for himself, saying, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Then Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you, and they believe you sent me. He prayed for his disciples who would be staying in the world after Jesus went to heaven. He asked God to keep them safe from the evil one and to make them holy. Then Jesus prayed for all the people who would come to believe in God because of the message that the disciples would tell. He prayed for people of all time, even to this day. He prayed that followers of Jesus would be united so that the world would believe that God sent Jesus to die for their sins so that everyone could be with God forever. Prayer is so powerful. It's amazing that whenever we pray, God goes to work on our behalf. It's so exciting to know that our prayers are heard and they're answered. All you have to do is to talk to God. You can talk to him just like you talk to your best friend or your mom or your dad. And then God also speaks to your heart. And it's not a big, loud, audible voice like you hear me talking to you, but it's just a gentle whisper in your heart. And so tonight what we want you to do is we want you to take time together with your family and take some time to talk to God together and then take some time to listen to what he's saying to you. He might be putting someone on your heart tonight to pray for, like a friend you haven't seen in a long time, or maybe even a teacher that you haven't seen in a while. He might be even asking you to pray for the president at that specific moment. Whatever the Lord is asking you to do, do it. Just pray together as a family and watch God move on your behalf. 